there is something called ACL execution order. Okay. When an ACL runs, what are the things it will run? First, what it will run? Okay. Whether it will run the condition, whether it will run the... So, here we have three things. No? First, what it will check? Will it check the condition? Will it check the role? Will it check the script? What exactly it will check? So, that also one of the important points. Okay. See, when an ACL is executing, no? it checks these things. Where is the diagram? Ah. First, it checks the role. Okay, if you if you have the role, then it checks the condition. If this okay, if you don't have the role, it will directly go no. Okay, if you have a role, then again next it will check the condition. Condition role both. If both are satisfied, yes. If no, then it will go here, and then also it will check the script. This is how. When an ACL is executing, if we have multiple things, first it will check whether this guy is having ITL. Okay. Then pass. Then further it will check condition. Okay. Is that condition met? Yes. And then is the script is also matched? Yes. Then execute. So let's say first it will check role. Then here you have a condition. Act to false. Condition is false. Then will it execute? The role is matched, the condition is not matched, second level it's not matched, then it will end. You are understanding, Ma? Yes. So, every time in ACL running, it will check three things, roles, conditions, scripts. Okay. First, it will check role. Okay. Ne pass it. Then, next check, condition. Pass or fail. Pass. Then, next check this one. Here it is passed. Here it is failed. Then, stop it. Okay. Here and here it's passed, here it's failed. Okay, then stop it. So, this is how the ACL execution order is. Clear? Good. Yes, any questions ma, for one minute, please? I'll take another 15 minutes. Ma. Any questions, please? Quickly. Okay. 